Good evening, viewers. Wondering what all the hype is about? Well, we are at Dal Bishop area for the Friendship Service 2013. With a jam-packed program, I actually want to go and listen. So come along and enjoy. Good afternoon, audience, friends, guests. The Bishop has already welcomed you here this afternoon, and we thank you from our side as the choir. We have a program this afternoon, and first on the program will be Alive, and that will be sung by the choir, organ, and orchestra. think with the previous question our bishop answered some of that that purely because of this friendship week we've been in we our bishop and our apostle raised this coral in our apostle area every bishop area and music is very important to us music forms a part of the divine service in every sunday divine service midweek divine services and we encourage music amongst our young children and our youth and uh, that is the future of our church our work we young people sing play instruments we really occupy them in that field.
the children's choir members from the Delft Bishop area. Welcome to you, girls and boys. <laughs> Do you mind telling us your name? Mm -hmm. My name is Shantae. Shantae, from what congregation are you? Eco West. Eco West congregation. Do you like it there? Yes, I do. Good. Can you maybe tell us about? I see you're wearing a scarf, and the gentleman over there has a beautiful bow tie. Can you tell us more about your outfits? Um, the person who made it, made it was, is from Eco North. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Julie. Okay. Is it? So you like it? Because it stood out, it looked perfect while you were singing. It made your faces glow. <laughs> and your name, what congregation are you from? My name is Rabbi and I'm from Erika West. Erika West congregation. Welcome, Robin. Can you tell us maybe about the pieces that you sang? Was it hard or was it easy? Well, the first of the model was easy, but the first song we sang, the log song, I think that wasn't kind of an easy piece, especially for the elder. Is it? Was it a bit difficult? But I couldn't say it. I was in the audience and you sang it perfectly. I don't think I can sing it that good, not even in my sleep. <laughs> hey, tell us about yourself, the only guy in the bow tie. What, what's your name and what congregation are you from? My name is Ethan and I'm from Eindhoven. Eindhoven congregation. Ethan, I remember you guys singing a, a piece called The Future of Tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes. What do you want to be? Tell us what do you want to be when you grow up. I want to be a rugby player. A rugby player! Nice! I think that has a ring to it. Do you want to play for South Africa? Yes. Cool. And the province? Province of what team? Stormers. Stormers! Well done! Go even that beautiful! <laughs> involvement in the congregation is actually music. I learned children to sing in the children's choir. When I moved into Delft, it was a great need for music because there was such a lot of people that took up music. I took up music when I was 10 years old and I'm practically playing the organ now for 62 years. Wow. I'm 72 now and I'm still enjoying what I am doing because 
once the Lord gives you that talent, you have to work with it and don't keep it to yourself. You must extend it and give it to others, and which I am doing. I am very th grateful for that because there's three organists that is playing in our area, congregation organists and assistants, and I'm busy with another three still. So I am not going no more there than the, the the organist must go on with the work. The work will carry on. That's yeah. great. Is there any, tell us about the item that you rendered your solo piece. That was quite interesting. They only asked me yesterday because the members couldn't get that part right. So uh, the choir master discovered that I know music and I will be the his candidate for that solo part. And you rendered it perfectly. With the help of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sister. Thank you so much for sharing your time yeah. with us. is uh, responsible for development firstly and then also for the beautification of our choirs in, in specifically this area and in wherever choir advisors operate. <laughs> there was quite an, a, a large amount of orchestra members and the quality was superb. Can you please tell us the importance of your orchestra within the church? Well, yeah. I mean, for the last few years we've used music as a window uh, and also to invite friends and you know uh, attract people to our church. I mean with the many concerts that we have in Silvertown. I mean, you know, I couldn't think a church today without music that would be like going to a funeral on a regular basis.
I enjoy it. And uh, I'm looking out every time we have a practice, I'm looking out to, to be among it's the fellowship amongst the Golden Voices. Because there you meet some of your Sunday school children and some of the servants that have was your uh, leaders and district leaders and it's nice being amongst them. Can you perhaps share with us your, your dress code, your uniform that you have? Something in the cupboard, in the wardrobe, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, the the, and the skull is a golden voices scarf. Okay, so everyone in the golden voices has a scarf like this. This is how we identify you guys. I'm so glad. Did you enjoy today's concert? Yes, very much. This uh, concert coincides with uh, the theme of our district apostle because this week we had the friendship service and we thought of inviting our friends not only to the divine service but also to see what our members do apart from coming to a divine service where they practice and do music and then also to let them in on our little activities that we do after divine services. So this um, concert coincides with that and that's why we have the old bishop area together with their friends. During the concert you highlighted quite a few themes. Please tell us more about that. Well the one theme that we concentrated on was the theme of friendship. That I think came through in the music that was presented. And what we also wanted to do, because in a few weeks time we will have Thanksgiving 
and you will notice amongst the hymns that we have sung and the presentations that there's a thanksgiving theme also going through so the two goes hand in hand that we have our friends here together and also have a preparation for thanksgiving that was really well bishop just to end off some conclusion and ending words is there any thanks to maybe the friends that have accepted the invitation or maybe the congregation within your bishop area no, I think it's important that we thank our friends, especially that came, because we know the weather was not uh, uh, so suitable to walk, especially here in the Delft Bishop area. If you want to go anywhere, you need to walk or take a taxi, which can be costly at times. Um, so they've attended here, our friends, and we are thankful. And then for our choir members, they have presented an hour and 20 minutes, I think. but. The preparation for this event uh, much has been sacrificed, time and also their talents. But as you have noticed, they love singing, they love their music, they love worshipping, they love praising God. And that is what came through with our concert. And I think the Lord, not think, I know the Lord will bless them. And I also know that that is their way, especially our musicians. It is their way of thanking God for what they have done for them.
words can express the feeling felt in one's heart and one's soul, that which was experienced today at the Friendship Concert. The words expressed in the fourth item, which was highlighted, was count your blessings. And to all the friends that accepted the invitation, you were a blessing to this congregation and Dalt Bishop area wants to thank you. From me, Lorna Peterson and NAC TV, goodbye and have a blessed evening.